basically taking the law into their own hands. NBC6's Chanel Terry joins us now live in studio control, sharing more details. Chanel, good evening. Good evening, Dan. Well, this is a page that a lot of people use to share information, talk to each other, and for community members to learn about other services. But these comments and posts are starting a lot of heated conversation. These Facebook posts onto the Broadmoor Neighbors in Shreveport page are causing concerns. We do uh, want authorities to look into them and take them serious because they are threats uh, that are made to the public. The Broadmoor Neighborhood Association has a separate page. Its president, Rob Broussard, says people need to leave the checking up to Shreveport Police. The Broadmoor Neighborhood Association absolutely does not promote vigilantes uh, riding around with guns in their cars, uh, following kids or people. One person wrote in part, I just spent 20 minutes following two black males, early 20s. Another thread talks about someone having a gun and being trained to place bullets between the eyes. It's followed by a post by someone stating in part, I'm going to drive the entire area, Broadmoor and South Highland and Waterside all night until I find thugs. I think you just have some folks that are being a little immature, being irrational at the moment. The page creator posted this message, saying in part, unfortunately, the tone of some of the comments has become so negative recently that I feel compelled to intervene. The point of this page was to bring neighbors together, but at this point, it's doing just the opposite. We have to be lady justice, you know, are they reacting emotionally or are they really doing what they're saying on social media? The person in charge of the page did talk about deleting some inappropriate posts and comments and went on to describe some of the limitations because of all of this activity. Dan? Well, for now, it's just words and let's hope it stays that way. Chanel, thank you.